in this video we will be looking into the LALR parser topic so here the grammar is given we need to construct the LR1 items along with the LALR passing table and check if this given grammar is LALR or not so my first step would be so I'll consider this as grammar G, this set of productions as grammar G. S derives A, I'll take it as the first grammar. A derives A, A as second grammar. And A derives D as the third grammar. So my next step is to write the first and follow. So I'll write first and follow of the non-terminals. That is here I have the non-terminals are S and A, right? So I'll write first and follow of S and A. So writing the first of uh, S, I would get A and D. And follow uh, first of A, it's the same, I would get A and D only. In first of S, I would get a dollar. And then first of A, I would get AD followed by dollar. So I, in my previous videos, I have explained how to find the first and follow. Uh, I have also explained with the algorithm. So do refer my previous videos in order to uh, find uh, how to calculate first and follow. My next step is to construct the argumented grammar. Argumented grammar G dash from the given grammar G. So here my aim is, so here my aim is to construct, so I would start with s dash derives dot s comma and look ahead here as dollar. So from this I should get s dash derives s dot comma followed by dollar. So the dot has to be shifted to the end. That's the aim of, of my of the process okay so after dot if there's any non-terminal after dot if there is any non-terminal then i should write all the possible productions of that non-terminal with prefix dot and suffix as comma followed by the look ahead value okay so let me start with the second uh, step so i'll start with s dash s dash derives dot s comma and in the look ahead part i'll write dollar so after dot I have S, S being a non-terminal, I should write all the possible productions of S. So I have here S derives AA, so S derives dot AA, comma, I don't know the look ahead part, let me put an underline here, I'll fill it later. Then after dot I have A here, A being a non-terminal, I should write the productions, A derives dot AA, comma, uh, the look ahead part, I'll write it. A derives dot D, comma, I should write the look ahead part. So here... So to find out the look ahead, I need to consider uh, a particular equation that is A derives alpha dot B beta comma A. So if the production is of this form and I need to find look ahead of the next production, so I can write first of beta and A would fetch the look ahead of the next production. So here I have S dash derives dot S comma dollar so here alpha is empty so lambda uh, b is s and beta is also empty so i can write first of epsilon here there's nothing so lambda or epsilon and i have dollar in place of a so first of epsilon and dollar i would get dollar itself so in the productions of s i would write dollar here next i will consider this to calculate the look ahead of a so I'll write s dash derives dot a a comma dollar. So for this first of a comma dollar first of a is I know that it is a comma d a slash d a slash d or a comma d I'll write a slash d and a slash d. So this 
is the i not items which i have obtained so let me put them in a box and write i not here so my next step is to shift the dot right so over the over s this dot would be shifted so i'll write s dash derives s dot comma dollar so after dot i have a terminal so i need not expand it this is i1 then here i have a right so over a i'll write s derives a dot a comma dollar so here expanding for this a i will write a derives dot a a comma dollar here the dollar would be same and then a derives dot d comma dollar you can perform the same a derives alpha dot b beta a, b beta comma a to this particular production you would get dollar itself so this yeah i have obtained i2 here so let me put them in a box and write i2 here next for small so i am done with this this now i'll consider this small a so i get a derives small a dot capital a comma a slash d so now writing again uh, for uh, a that is the non terminal i would get a derives dot a a comma a slash d and a derives and a dot a derives dot d comma a slash d so i am done with i3 items so this is done now over d i can write a derives d dot comma a slash d i would consider this as i4 now uh, if if you look at uh, i1 the dot is at the end so you need not shift anything further in i2 over a i can write um s derives a a dot comma dollar so after dot i have comma here so i need not uh expand it further so here it would be this is this was i4 so this will be i5 now over small a so this is done over small a i i, I get a derives a dot a comma dollar so here after dot i have a a is a non terminal so let me write a derives dot a a comma dollar and a derives dot d comma dollar so i'll consider this as i6 next i am done with this next i have d here so over d i get a derives d dot comma dollar so a derives d dot comma dollar can be considered as i7 so i am done with i2 uh, productions now let's look into the i3 items or production so first over capital a i get a derives a a dot comma a slash d so i'll take this as i8 then over small a i would get a derives a dot a comma a slash d a dot a comma a slash d is again it's the same thing right so it is i3 and over cap it small d i would get i4 that is a derives d dot comma a slash d it's the same now coming to i5 no i6 i can write over capital a i would get a derives a a dot comma dollar I'll, this was i8 so i'll consider this as i9 over small a i would get a derives a dot a comma dollar small a dot a comma dollar it's the same i would get i6 here again and over d i would get i7 so here i am done with uh, writing the argumented grammar constructing the argumented grammar from the given g so my next step would be to merge the items having so i'll write the next step is to merge the items having same core and redraw the lr1 items so if you look at uh, this i have if you compare i4 and if you compare i4 and i7 we have a derives d dot a derives d dot in look ahead part here i have dollar and here i have a slash d so i can write i can combine i47 as a derives d dot comma 
a slash d slash dollar so i have combined merged i4 and i7 then if i look at i8 and i9 i have a derives small a capital a dot comma here i have a slash d and here i have dollar so i have combined i4 and i uh, i8 and i9 next if you compare i uh, if you compare i3 and i6 they are same just the look ahead part is different so i'll write it here i3 and i7 i3 i and i6 if i com uh, combine or merge i would get a derives a dot a and here i have a derives dot a a and a derives dot b comma a slash d slash dollar a slash d slash dollar a slash d slash dollar so here i have obtained the common course these are common course so by considering this i need to redraw the the argumented grammar again so let me start from i not here so in i not i have s s dash derives dot s comma dollar and s derives dot a a comma dollar a derives dot a a comma a slash d and a derives dot d comma a slash d so here over s i would get s dash derives s dot s s dot comma dollar so this is i1 and i2 would be as it is over a i would get s derives a dot a comma dollar s derives dot a a comma dollar and s derives dot b comma dollar so i'll write this as it is i i'll put it under i2 next i have i3 uh, i3 right so over small a i would get i3 that is a derives a dot a comma a slash d slash i3 and 6 are merged so i should write dollar also here a derives dot a a comma a slash d slash dollar and here a derives dot d comma a slash d slash dollar so i can write i 3 6 here and over d i would get a derives dot uh, a derives sorry not dot d d dot comma a slash d slash dollar because the 4 i 4 and because i 4 and i 7 are combined here so here i would i will write i 4 7 okay so i am done with uh, i1 i2 i3 now uh, let me write i4 i4 also i am done now let me write i5 so i5 was from i2 over a i got s derives a a dot comma dollar this is i5 then over small a i got i i6 here so i36 let me write i36 here and over capital small d i would get i47 here over capital a i would get a derives a a dot comma a slash d slash dollar this is i8 and 9 because i8 and 9 are merged together over a i would get i6 only that is i36 and over d i would get i4 that is i47 here so this is the updated uh, argumented grammar for the given um, for the common course my next step would be to obtain the lalr passing table so next step would be to obtain LALR parsing table so now I'll start filling the values so I not over capital S I would get I1 I not over S I would get 1 I not over A I should get 2 and I not over small A I should get I36 
i not over small a it is being shifted to i 3 6 so i'll write s of 3 6 and then i not over small d i would get i 4 7 so small d s 4 7 so next in um, next i'm done with i not so here i need to remember that if any uh, production is of the form s dash derives s dot comma dollar then in action along with the item number and dollar i should write accept so so here if you look at s i1 so it is of the form s dash derives s dot comma s so in in i1 comma dollar i should write accept i1 comma dollar i should put accept so i'm done with that in i2 i2 over a i get i5 i2 over a i get 5 i2 over small a i get i36 i2 over small a i get s36 and over d i get s47 coming to i36 i36 over capital a i would get i89 so let me write 89 here and i36 over small a i would get uh, s36 i36 over d i would get s47 so i am done with all the items now i i need to consider if any production is of the form a dash derives lambda dot comma dollar then in place of action i should write that particular production number the look ahead values is equal to reduce of a derives alpha here again the production number is considered here the item number here the production number is considered so and one more thing here a should not be s dash so a should not be the start symbol so i can't consider the first one coming to uh, coming to i5 so let me write i5 i5 is of the form s derives a a dot comma dollar so i can write action of i of 5 so i 5 5 comma look ahead here is dollar would be equal to reduce of s derives a s derives a is the first production right so i'll write r1 here okay so in 5 comma dollar 5 comma dollar i should write r1 i'm done with this Next, I have uh, I47. Let me take I47 here. So, I can write A derives D dot comma A slash D slash dollar. And in action, I can write action of I47 is there here, right? So, I of 47 comma, whatever there is in look at, let me write it here, should be equal to A derives D. A derives D is the third production. So, let me write R3 here. So, I47 a I should write R3, I47 D I should write R3, I47 dollar I should write R3. Similarly, if I consider I I89, so it is of the form A derives small a capital A dot comma A slash D slash dollar. So I can write action of I89 comma A slash D slash dollar. The look ahead part is equal to A derives A A that is R2 right r2 production so here i'll write r2 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 so if you look at the values filled in the passing table there are no multiple entries in each cell so we can say that the given grammar is lalr so we can say that the given grammar is lalr so i hope um, these concepts are clear if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel thank you